Hey everybody, I'm your friendly neighborhood Ohio man, and welcome to my weekly news and video roundup. Okay, really? Are you gonna let me do my thing, or uh, are you just gonna run against me for a little bit? Ow, ow, stop. <laughs> Please. Hi, how are you guys doing this week? Not that much stuff happened this week. Um, there was a few rumors that came around, um, that... That's it. That's it. You're going down. Stop. Oh. No. Down. Just, like, ten minutes. That's all I ask of you. What was I saying? So, this was actually a pretty boring week. There really wasn't that much news that came out. Um, there was a few more rumors, and, like, one confirmation, kind of, for the PlayStation 3. <laughs> um, they, there are, like, pictures of, like, what the controller, rumored controller is going to look like. It's for the PlayStation 4, sorry. Yeah, there's pictures out, like, the controller, it looks pretty much just like a du regular DualShock controller for PS3, but it has, like, a screen on it, and apparently it also has, like, an integrated speaker. So, that was rumored that the controller was going to have a touchscreen. So, it actually looks, it looks pretty good. It, like, if that's the controller, I'll be fine with that. Um, I think they confirmed, though, that there's going to be streaming of PS3 games for the PlayStation 4. Whether that's going to replace the backwards compatibility is, um, I'm not sure yet. That, I, I'm not sure how I feel about it, actually, also, because if that is going to replace backwards compatibility, um, I'd be kind of pissed I won't be able to play, like, the games I already bought. I mean, thank you. I mean, it is one solution, because if they do have, like, the entire PlayStation 3 library, uh, okay, because at least they're available, and the consoles probably are going to swap over to completely digital anyway at some point in the future, so I guess it's got to start somewhere. But they at least kind of have the option to, like, play our PlayStation 3 games on it still. I mean, if it's going to have a disc tray, you might as well. Uh, but we'll just, I guess we'll just have to wait till next week, or this week. Yeah, this week. Um, the 20th, which is Wednesday, they're going to announce pretty much PlayStation 4 and, like, m hopefully more details for it, so next, on next week's, uh, weekly news, I'm sure I'll have a lot more information on that. Bungie also released, uh, some artwork for the new game Destiny, and they also released, uh, a couple more details. Have I been saying released a lot? But I've got to stop, like, pointing that out. Like, you guys probably don't even notice it until I say that I'm saying this word a lot. But they confirm that the game is going to be always online, so it is going to definitely be, like, pretty much an always online multiplayer game. They said there's going to be both cooperative and multiplayer play, so it sounds pretty much like a typical MMO, almost. And also that you can customize your character and the appearance, and apparently I think they said also your vehicles, so... I think they said they were going to be vehicles in the game, but it's cool. It's going to be almost like Borderlands, I guess. Yeah, it's actually going to sound almost like... A Borderlands type customization mixed with, like, Halo's chain your character's appearance. Apparently the game is said to be very Halo-like, so some people might say, Oh, Bungie, just same old thing, just different color. I don't mind. If the game plays exactly like Halo, but it's like an entirely new setting, I think I'd actually be okay with that, because Halo's amazing, and you know, as you guys probably know, I love Halo, so yeah, that... I'm really looking forward to this game. Bungie hasn't let us down in the past. Granted, all they really created is Halo, but they created Halo, so there's no reason for us to, like, not judge them. They said the game is going to be coming out in 2013 for the 360, or plan to, and then it's going to come out for the PS4 in 2014. So, did I say PS4? I meant PS3, I think. Although, if it's coming out in 2014, it's probably going to come out for the PS4. I'm actually curious now. Will this be coming out on next-gen systems? Guess like everything else with the next gen, we're just gonna have to wait to find out. Nintendo, at their Nintendo Direct presentation, I think that's what it was. I think Nintendo Direct is like a, pretty much like a website that's gonna be like a hub for all like Nintendo news. Um, they announced quite a few games to the 3DS. They announced a new Mario Golf game, I think Mario Golf World Tour. Alright, I'm looking at my computer. Sue me. <laughs> yeah, they're releasing Mario Golf World Tour. For the 3DS. Um, Donkey Kong Returns for the 3DS. Uh, it's pretty much going to be like the Wii game. They're just porting it over to the 3DS. So, I think I think the Wii game is good. So, there's no reason that the 3D game shouldn't be. They're all, they also announced Animal Crossing New Leaf. Which is, they said the character, or the, your character is going to look more human. I don't think they're going to get rid of the Iron Hall aspects. But your character is going to look like more human-like. And apparently he can also become the mayor of the town eventually. And you can also have more control over what you do in the town. And like how the town builds up and stuff like that. So I haven't actually played any Animal Crossing since the first one. But it's on the 3DS and I really don't have that many games for it. So I'm just looking for games to play. So I'll probably check it out. I'll probably get it. 
But the most exciting announcement for me was they said that they're I think they said it's going to be like the year of the Luigi, and they're going to be releasing a lot of Luigi-based content. Like for the Wii U, the Super Mario Wii U, they're releasing a Luigi campaign, which it should be interesting. I don't have the Wii U, so I don't know why that interests me that much. At least they're like bringing Luigi more to the limelight, and Luigi is like the underdog of the Mario series. He's always just been like kicked and like always the scaredy cat, but he is time to shine. Luigi's Mansion was a great start and they really just haven't built upon it that much. I don't even think it's that they announced yet for 3DS. They, they announced uh, Mario & Luigi Dream Team, which is the fourth game in the Mario & Luigi series. And I love that series, even though I actually didn't beat the first one. I got to the final dungeon, but I didn't actually beat it. I never played the second one. I don't even have it. And I only played the third one, uh, Bowser's Inside Story, for, like, a few hours. So I don't know why I love it so much, but... Actually, no. I, I, I played most of the first one, and that was an amazing game. And when I played a Bowser's Inside Story, it was also great. It, it's just got, like, such a great humor to the series, it's, and gameplay is awesome. It's just an RPG, and it's just... I don't know. It, it, they just did a good job with it. But they said it's going to be taking place inside Luigi's Dreams, and it's going to have, like, you're controlling Mario and them on the top screen, but on the bottom screen is going to be Luigi, like, sleeping, and you might have to, like, do stuff, like, interact with him to, like, affect stuff in the dreams. And apparently, since it's in his dreams, there might be, like, multiple Luigis, and he might not be a scaredy cat, because he might be, like, strong Macho Man, in, like, in his own head. So, uh, I'm looking forward to it. That's probably going to be the next 3DS game I get. As for movie news, there really wasn't much. Uh, I was going to say something because apparently it was confirmed that Harrison Ford was going to return as Han Solo in Episode 7, but then it turned out that like no, that it might that was just a rumor and they said that he hasn't actually signed any contracts yet, so I'll keep you posted on what's going on on that. I'm sure he'll return, but I think he said that the only way that he'll return is if they kill Han Solo, which, although it would piss off fans, I think it would kind of make sense. It would set, like, a really nice tone for the new trilogy, like, oh shit, they killed off the main character, this is gonna get kind of dark. If they want to go the dark route, which could work, Star Wars 2 could definitely work, I mean, episode 3 was pretty dark. And that's all the news I have for you this week. Um, as for my videos, I had the season finale of Jack and Daxter on Friday, so if you enjoyed that series and maybe missed a couple episodes, be sure to check that out. And also be on the lookout for my new series that I'm starting sometime this week. Depends upon when I actually get around to recording it. <laughs> um, but anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button down below. And also feel free to leave a comment uh, about any suggestions on how I can improve this se this weekly news or just anything of interest that you might want to just talk about. I'm here. I'm lonely. I need people to talk to. Please. <laughs> thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Don't let this cuteness fool you. She is a demon. Burp, burp.